In this video, I'll show you how to create new folders in your Google Drive automatically whenever a new Google Form response is submitted. Let's get started. Here I have a sample Google Form for onboarding new vendors for our company. The respondents have to fill in their business name, geographic region and their contact details. I have also added a declaration at the end of the form. If the vendor agrees to the terms and conditions, they can check this option. Now whenever a new vendor submits the form, a new folder should be created in Google Drive. This folder should also be shared with the vendor for easy access to invoices and other documents. This entire process of creation and sharing of folders on every new form submission can easily be automated with the help of Document Studio. Let's have a look. If you don't have the add-on installed already, you can install it by visiting this link. We'll also put this link in the video description below. Once the add-on is installed, let's launch it inside Google Forms. You will see this little puzzle icon here that shows a list of your Google Form extensions. Click on this icon and choose Document Studio to launch the add-on. Create a new workflow and give this workflow a descriptive name. This is the Google Sheet linked to the form which will store all the form responses. You can click on this button to open the responses sheet in a new browser tab. Now here the workflow will process all the new form responses by default. However, if you want to process only specific responses that match certain criteria, then select the process specific rows option. For this example, new folders should be created for only those vendors who have ticked the I agree checkbox. So let's specify that condition here. Click on this drop down which contains the list of all the questions in the form and select declaration. Here we have a list of comparison operators. I'll select the exactly matches operator and specify I agree in the text field here. This is the same label we used in the Google form field. Let's go to the next step. Document Studio is a very versatile Google add-on which can be integrated with popular applications like Airtable, Telegram, Trello, WhatsApp and many more. For this tutorial, since we are looking to create new folders inside Google Drive, choose Google Drive from the list of tasks. From the list of available Drive services, select the Create Folder option. Next, let's choose the parent Google Drive folder inside which the new folders for vendors should be created. This opens the Google File Picker window. I've already created a folder inside Google Drive titled New Vendors, so I'll just select that. Document Studio allows you to create new folders inside shared drives as well. Now this is where we will specify how the subfolders should be created inside the parent folder. Here is a list of available markers which you can use to dynamically name the subfolders. There are markers for individual form fields as well. So your subfolder can be named based on the answers submitted in the form. So if I specify the subfolder path as year, region, vendor name, three subfolders will be added in the parent folder for storing the files. You can also use static text for your subfolder names. Now once a folder has been created for the vendor that has submitted the form, you can choose to automatically share it with them. Since we want the vendors to directly upload or download files from the folder, we will add them as an editor in the folder. I'll type in the form question that collects the vendor's email address and enclose it in double curly braces to share the folder with them. This is done. To recap this step, we've added a task to create a new folder in Google Drive as soon as a vendor submits the Google form. The folder will also be shared with the vendor through Google Drive. Now let's continue. I want this workflow to run each time a new form response is received, so I'll keep the option Run on Form Submit checked. For the last step, 
we can either save this workflow here or we can run it immediately. If you want to create new folders and organize them for form responses that have already been received, choose the Save and Run option. If you choose Save, the workflow will run for all the new responses that are received from now onwards. I'll save this workflow to process only new form responses. So our workflow has been created. Now I'll fill this form with some dummy data to check whether the folders are getting created in our Google Drive with the correct naming convention. The form has been submitted. Let's open Google Drive now. This is the parent folder for new vendors. Let me expand the folder tree and as you can see, all the subfolders have been created inside the parent folder as specified in the workflow. Let me show you one more thing. I'll open the Google Sheet linked to this form. So this is the sheet and as you can see, it contains the form responses received. Document Studio adds a couple of new columns in this sheet after a workflow has been processed. This cell contains the link to the new folder created by the add-on. So this was a quick tutorial for creating new folders through Google Form Responses using Document Studio. If you found this video useful, you may also want to check out our other tutorial on how to create folders in bulk using data in Google Sheets. You can open this link to know more about the capabilities and features of Document Studio. And do check out our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.